Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm doing a follow-on video to my video installing Android 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4. So in this video I'm going to be looking at how to install Android 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4. But first I'm going to go through and show you how it performs with videos, games and general apps. Now it's worth remembering this ROM is a work in progress. So it's still a little bit rough around the edges. Now with that said, let's take a look. Now if we swipe down and click on settings and then scroll down all the way to the bottom, You'll see we're running a tablet version of the software. If you click on About Tablet, you can see we are in fact running on a Raspberry Pi 4 with Android 11 and the Micro G version of the Omni software. Now you can in fact also install the Google G Apps compatible version, but for this video I'm using the Omni G version, which comes pre-installed with the Aurora App Store and the Fdroid App Store. Now once we're in the app, you can see we've got plenty to choose from here. And installing an app is simply just like any other app store. Just click and install. You can also search for apps, and in this case I'm going to search for Ada64, and then just simply click on install. Once it's installed, you can minimize the app store, and just swipe up from your home screen, and you'll find it in your app drawer. Taking a look at the details here, you can see I'm running a Raspberry Pi 4 with the 4GB model, with internal storage of around 5GB. CPU-wise, we've got 4 ARM Cortex cores running at 1800MHz, and with the display we've got 3D rendering with V3D 4.2, and it's got OpenGL ES 3.1. There is currently no hardware accelerated video playback, but 3D graphics are working so we are able to play a few games. Now of course multitasking works pretty well so you can switch between windows. Now for media consumption, i.e. YouTube, I tried the YouTube app and it didn't work that particularly well. I got better results from the Firefox browser, which I downloaded from the Aurora App Store. Now I installed a couple of games and the first game I installed was Hill Climb Racing. And it worked very well, pretty smooth, no stuttering. Now this game is a few years old though. Now the second app I installed was Angry Birds 2. Now I do say install, but it didn't fully install actually. I got a couple of system errors and a message failed to load assets. And a gentle note to reinstall from the Google Play Store. Now installing this ROM to your Raspberry Pi is pretty straightforward. Just head on over to the link in the description below and it'll get you to this page, which is the official download and forum page. So if you do have any issues or questions, you can get them answered here. So I'm just going to click on the download link and it'll take you to the download section. Now if you do want to install gapps, click on the weekly link. But like I mentioned earlier, I installed the micro g version. Now once it's downloaded, you can use something like Bellina Etcher or Pi Imager to flash the ROM onto an SD card. So I'm using the Pi Imager. Click on the choose OS button and scroll the way down to custom. From here, navigate to where you downloaded the ROM, select it and then select the choose SD card button. From here you just select the SD card you've got inserted in your PC and then just click on write. Now once that's completed, take the SD card out of your PC and put it into your Raspberry Pi. Power up your Raspberry Pi and watch it boot up. Now the first boot up should take around 5 minutes while it sets up the environment. And that's it guys, you have fully installed Android 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4. All that's left for me to say is, if you found this video helpful give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.